Hi everyone! Welcome to the third installment of the Novice End User's Guide to SharePoint video series. Today we're going to be talking about the My Site, which is your personal sort of blog and information center in, within your company's SharePoint. Um, you find the My Site, if you've never been to yours before, um, it's, in, it's this, this guy in the right hand corner, and you just click My Site. And it'll bring you, I don't know why it brings you the news feed. I, I don't use it that much, but if you have a big company, it can be pretty useful just to see in this column, it'll say what your colleagues are up to once you've entered them in. Um, if, you know, so if they add a new blog, like it says, if they add a new blog post or if they add, if they've updated their profile information, updated like what they do, it, that'll appear here. Um, this is a dummy installation of SharePoint, so I don't actually have really anything in here. Um, but, and then you can, uh, you can specify interests and then um, any news that, per that includes those interests will show up on your newsfeed as well. So if I'm like, oh, I want to find out more about Twitter, anytime anyone posts anything about Twitter, it'll appear here. Um, but we're going to go right now to the profile to configure this. You know, I just, I just put in a uh, picture, has my job description. Um, but you can enter your interests, you can enter um, anything that you want people to be able to find you by. Um, so that, like you said, like if you have, you know, I don't know, a, a thousand people in your company, not everyone's going to know what you do, but they can be like, oh, well, I want to find someone who has, like, graphic design experience. So they'll search that and you'll come up. But whatever you enter in here, or you, can, you can edit it either right here or in news, in, from the news feed. Um, but you can see there's lots of different fields and all of this, all of these fields are searchable. Um, let's say I decide to just ask me about cakes. You actually probably shouldn't ask me about cakes. I'm like the worst baker ever. But. And now if people, you know, people search cakes, I'm going to show up for cakes. Great. So that's one aspect of the My Site. The other part of the My Site that you'll probably use a lot is the My Content section. Um, as you can see, there's a space for shared documents, which means anything you upload here, um, it's public, people can see it, and anything here is private, um, which, you know, if you have things that aren't ready yet, like I have a lot of documents that are kind of draft state, but I want to keep them here so that I remember them. I put them in personal, and then once they're ready for other people to see, I'll put them in shared. Um, and then there's also the option to create a blog, which I do, um, you know, before I pub publish posts to our public blog, I'll write them here. And, yeah, so if you hit create a blog, and you can create a blog post as long I mean, you don't, you honestly don't even need to know HTML to write a blog post here. It's like the rich text editor is pretty decent. Um, and, yeah, so, my first blog post, which is a lie, but first blog post on this installation of SharePoint, hello world, um, and then, can, like, by default, SharePoint gives you two categories that you can put blog posts in, um, but you can also add your own, um, publish. And then you also, you know, you can customize this guy. You can um, add as many categories as you want. It, it, I mean, it's, you know, it's like any blog, pretty much. Um, a lot of the, what it, the look and feel of it is not determined by you, unless you're, you know, pretty decent with the SharePoint designer. Um, but, yeah, so that's the basic, you know, my site components, profile, newsfeed, content. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining me and I will see you next week, um, where we're going to take a look at the SharePoint designer. Bye guys.